Hey there, plant lovers. Welcome to our channel. Let us dive into the wonderful world of indoor greenery and talk about snake plants. Snake plant is a popular indoor plant cherished for their unique appearance and low maintenance requirements. It is most commonly known as the Sansevieria, St. George's Sword, Mother-in-Law's Tongue, and Viper's Bowstring Hemp among other names. The native areas of snake plants include countries like Nigeria, Cameroon, Congo, and Madagascar. In these regions, snake plants can be found growing in diverse habitats, such as open grasslands, rocky slopes, and forest margins. They have also been observed growing near rivers and streams, taking advantage of the relatively moist conditions in these areas. Snake plant is an evergreen perennial plant forming dense strands, spreading by way of its creeping rhizome which is sometimes above ground, sometimes underground. There are several species and cultivars of snake plants available, each with its distinct characteristics. Some can have sword-like leaves that range in color from deep green to variegated yellow and greener silver. Snake plants work well when grown in containers. Other than adding interest to indoor spaces, many people love them for their air purifying qualities and their ability to thrive in low light conditions. Here are care tips for snake plant. Number 1 light requirements. Snake plants can tolerate a wide range of light conditions, from low to bright indirect light. However, they thrive best in medium to bright indirect light. Avoid placing them in direct sunlight as it can scorch the leaves. In low light conditions, the variegated varieties may lose their coloration, but they will still grow. Number 2. Temperature and humidity. Snake plants are adaptable to a variety of temperatures, but prefer temperatures between 21 to 32 degrees Celsius. They can tolerate cooler temperatures, as long as they are not exposed to frost. They are not picky about humidity levels, and can adapt well to normal indoor humidity. Number 3. Watering. One of the most important aspects of snake plant care is proper watering. They are succulent plants and can withstand periods of drought. It's essential to allow the soil to dry out partially between waterings. Overwatering can lead to root rot and other issues. During the growing season, spring and summer, water the plant thoroughly when the top inch of the soil feels dry. Reduce watering during the winter months, allowing the soil to dry out more between waterings. Number 4. Soil. Snake plants prefer well-draining soil that is not overly compacted. A good potting mix for snake plants is a blend of equal parts potting soil peat moss, and perlite or coarse sand. This mixture promotes proper drainage and prevents waterlogged soil. Number 5. Potting and repotting. Snake plants have a relatively slow growth rate, and they prefer to be slightly pot-bound. Choose a pot with drainage holes to prevent waterlogging. Repotting is typically required every two to three years, or when the plant becomes root-bound. When repotting, choose a pot that is only slightly larger than the current one to avoid excessive soil moisture retention. Number 6. Fertilization. Snake plants are not heavy feeders and can thrive without frequent fertilization. During the growing season, you can apply a balanced, water-soluble fertilizer once a month. Dilute the fertilizer to half or quarter strength to avoid overfertilization which can lead to burnt roots. Number 7. Pruning and Maintenance Snake plants require minimal pruning. Remove any yellow or damaged leaves by cutting them at the base. You can also trim off any excessive growth to maintain the plant's shape and size. Wipe the leaves occasionally with a damp cloth to remove dust and keep them clean. Number 8. Propagation. Snake plants are relatively easy to propagate. One common method is by dividing the underground stems during repotting. Gently separate the plant into smaller sections, making sure each division has a healthy root system. Allow the divisions to dry out for a day or two before planting them in individual pots. Another method is leaf cuttings. Take a healthy leaf and cut it into about 3-inch sections. Allow them to dry for a few hours, and then plant them vertically in a well-draining potting mix. Number 9. Common Issues Snake plants are generally pest-resistant, but they can occasionally be affected by mealybugs, spider mites, or fungal diseases. Keep an eye out for signs of pests such as webbing, tiny bugs, or yellowing leaves. If you notice any infestation, Isolate the affected plant and treat it with an appropriate insecticidal soap or horticultural oil. Ensure good air circulation around the plant to prevent fungal diseases. Number 10. Pet and Child Safety Snake plants contain saponins, which can be toxic if ingested in large quantities. Keep them out of the reach of pets and children. If accidentally consumed, they can cause symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. If you suspect ingestion, seek medical advice immediately. Number 11. 
troubleshooting. If your snake plant's leaves turn mushy and soft, it could be a sign of overwatering or root rot. Adjust your watering routine and ensure the soil is well draining. If the leaves become wrinkled and dry, it indicates underwatering. Increase the frequency of watering, but always allow the soil to partially dry out between waterings. Number 12. Winter Care Snake plants can tolerate cooler temperatures during winter but are susceptible to cold drafts and frost. Keep them away from windows or any cold drafts. Reduce watering during this time and avoid fertilizing. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you have found it helpful in everything concerning snake plants. Good luck in your gardening journey.